Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios. So, someone asked me a pretty interesting question on stream, and I thought it was worth talking about for a little bit, because it's actually something that affects pretty much everyone that plays Overwatch, and especially people who feel like they can't really climb on the competitive ladder. So, someone came into my stream and said that they felt like they couldn't climb because of their teammates, like they were playing at a higher level than they deserved, but that their teammates were holding them back. And I've said in the past that I think it's pretty much impossible for teammates to hold you back overall, in the grand scheme of things, and they said they disagreed. So. I maybe went off on a little bit of a rant, you could call it, but I tried to explain my thoughts on how luck doesn't really exist in Overwatch and in climbing as a whole. Uh, it can exist in each individual game. Sometimes you get throwers on your team, sometimes the enemy team just pops off or has smurfs that just absolutely destroy you, but that overall, in all of the games that you play, luck won't actually have an impact because it's just as likely to affect you as the other team. But I thought it was an interesting conversation and I want to show you guys kind of the explanation that I gave on stream, kind of inspired by Day9 since I really love the kind of rants and discussions that he has on his stream as well. And most of all, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that your teammates can really hold you back or do you guys think that that's just an excuse that bad players use for why they can't climb? And of course, I'm not just talking about one game or five games I'm talking about an entire season of playing where you have more opportunities to play than just the few games with AFKs or throwers anyway I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments and here's the video Ice Riri says hey remember when you said that your teammates can't hold you back that much in comp I highly disagree with that all right all right team ah let's talk about facts and math so we gotta get we gotta get real with this. Okay, so you play in silver, and I know you know everyone knows every single person in silver is a complete shitter, everyone, all of them. But you're not. You're the best. You deserve top 500 grandmaster. You're gonna be in the Overwatch League signing a $150,000 contract just like Sinatra. But you're being held back by your teammates. Okay. Let's look at this. Every single game, you have six people on your team, you and five teammates. You're playing against six other people. They have a full six, you have a full six. They have six shitters, you have five shitters because you're the best and you don't deserve to be in silver. So if the enemy team has six shitters and you have five, I feel like you should beat them more often than not. Okay, so if you are the best and you play with five shitters against six shitters, overall you're going to win more games. Just that's if if you if you are better than your opponents, you will win games more more of the time. I there's no reason why that wouldn't be true. So okay, so why wouldn't there why wouldn't your team be better than the others? Well, maybe the other team has a Smurf. Or maybe your team has a thrower. But doesn't the enemy team have more of a chance to have a thrower than you? They do have more of a chance to have a smurf, that's true. But they have more of a chance to have a thrower or a feeder. Someone who won't switch off a of bastion. Someone who picks Junkrat and just jumps off the map 17 times in a row until the game ends. So, statistically, if you are playing better than your rating, you should climb. And statistically you should be better than the average member on your team and therefore better than the average member on the enemy team as well. You raise your team's average, hopefully higher than the other team's average. Sometimes the other team will have a higher average than you, but that's an equal number of times as when you'll have a higher average than your enemy. Nobody, nobody is unlucky. Luck, luck doesn't exist. You get unlucky as many times as your opponents do, as many times as your teammates do, and you get lucky as many times as you get unlucky. You just don't notice it as much because in this game, losses feel so much worse than wins feel good. Yo, what's up, Poro and everyone else? So I'm just I'm just giving the rundown on uh, on why Elo Hell just it can't exist. There's just no reason for it to exist. No possible way. If if you feel like every game you play amazing, you don't make mistakes, and you still don't climb, the fact is you're not you're not playing amazing. You you think that you are. You see that you have gold medals, and so you think that you're doing well. You see your teammates make mistakes. 
and so you think they're doing poorly. But at no point are you playing above your level. You need to be killing multiple members of the enemy team without dying at all. And you need to be able to get your team onto the point. You need to be active and vocal in voice chat to get them to the objective or get them off the objective or to get them to use their ults or save their ults. And if you are just playing over and over and not climbing at all, or even worse, if you're falling, the fact is you're just, you're not, you're not doing well enough and you need to fix something. But it's cool because it's actually really easy to fix something, especially if you play in silver. It's really easy to fix those mistakes. Like those are the easiest mistakes in the game to fix. But if you don't believe that you're making mistakes, then it's almost impossible to fix them. It's, it's com the complete opposite. I... I just, if someone can can give me what you believe is a, a statistical explanation, so what if your shitters are worse than their shitters? That's a great question. Sometimes they will be, and sometimes they won't be. And it will be essentially an even number of times. Because if you play enough games, all the statistics are going to come down to 50%. The number of throwers you have versus your enemies, the number of smurfs you have versus your enemies. Uh, the only difference is that you will never be a shitter, you'll never be a thrower, you will never be a rager, you will never be a smurf, but uh, you will never be someone who is silver level because you are going to be diamond, master, grandmaster, top 500. That's, you are the only thing that changes how well your team can do. Never, never count on your team to carry you because statistically they won't. On a, on a total average of games, they aren't going to carry you. But if you play enough games, and the thing is, you could play 10 games, and you could lose 10 games in a row to throwers on your team. And that's okay. Like, I mean, it sucks, obviously. It's the worst feeling in the world. But that is still okay because you just need to play more than, than those 10 games. You need to play another 10 and another 10. And you need to play so many games that those statistical anomalies become insignificant entirely so that you can play so many games so that the only factor really affecting whether you climb or whether you fall is you yourself. And one, one issue I have, I know, is that I just don't play enough games. I play very, very few games in competitive, which means I allow my rating to be affected by my teammates or by really good enemy teams or by these weird statistical anomalies way more than I should. But if you, if you have a positive win rate and then you need to play more games 100% of the time. You, you should keep playing games until every win rate on every one of your heroes is 50% or lower, hopefully 50%. And at that point, that is, the, that is the skill rating that you deserve at that point. You can still improve past that, but that's the skill rating you deserve. If you have a positive win rate, then you're not actually at your, your proper skill rating yet. You just need to play more games. So like last season, I, I was like 3,300 and I just got burnt out of playing ranked uh, and competitive and I went on trips, I went on vacations, did things and I, I moved, that was the biggest thing and when I moved I decayed and I was, it was just so hard to keep playing ranked even though I had a positive win rate on several of my favorite heroes and the thing is if you have a positive win rate that means just keep playing it because that means that if you have a positive win rate you're doing better than you should be in your current rating and you deserve a higher one. So just keep playing games because you have a higher higher win rate then you're going to climb, you're going to gain. And even if you're not gaining more SR than you're losing at, at the time, eventually your MMR will increase to reflect that. You will gain more SR for your wins and you will lose fewer SR for your losses if you are lower than your intended position. Okay, so Tiburon5 says, I disagree with luck not existing. You should see my Hearthstone matches. <laughs> how, how can luck exist? I mean, okay, if you if you believe that you are an unlucky person, then fine, then you're unlucky. You are going to be stuck where you are forever, and nothing will change until you become lucky. But if you don't believe in luck. If you don't, if you believe that you yourself can influence your games and that you yourself can play well enough to climb, then forget about luck. Fuck luck. Just play the game, 
better than everyone else at your rating and just keep playing the game over and over and over until you climb. Speaking of climbing, let's get into our next game. Now arriving at Mijang Tower. All right. This is going to be another easy one, another easy 2-0 baby. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> 